Hey guys, so today I thought it'd be super cool to do a video about living a day in my life according to my Enneagram. So to figure out your Enneagram, you basically just take a personality test and the one I took was at truity.com. I'll put it in the description below, but I've seen other YouTubers do this and I've seen it all over Pinterest and Instagram, like little pictures. I'm pretty sure there's nine different types and there's like cute little things like what kind of outfit they would do what they would do in a day like what kind of drinks they like i mean i don't even know if that stuff's real but the nine different personalities those are pretty like reliable and i feel like everyone matches with the one that's them so my enneagram is a type one so i'm gonna read some things that the type one is according to truity.com and different research i did so yeah okay so the type one is called the reformer. So we're big perfectionists. We're organized, reliable, honest, responsible, fair. We're really big on right versus wrong. So we're kind of goody two shoes. We have a lot of common sense, which I don't really think I have a lot of common sense sometimes. Um, they like to lead and inspire. They always give 110%, always improving. They strive to stick to a schedule. Um, they are upset by people who break rules or don't follow directions. They're control freaks, find ways to be charitable, and they like to clean and organize stuff all the time. And they're always trying to help people do the right thing. So I definitely think this is me. I was really close to number three as well. And three is the achiever. So I feel like a lot of times if people are close with three, they might be close with one. Those two are kind of close together, but one's just like, they're very perfectionistic. So yeah, I definitely think one describes me more, but I'm gonna go make a little to-do list because that's what type ones like to do. And I'll start my day off with that and then we'll get going. Let's go. Hey guys, good morning. So today I'm going to be starting off my morning with my to-do list. Type 1s love making to-do lists and keeping organized, and I already do that all the time, so that's not even a problem for me. So I'm going to start my morning with this fizz drink that I love, just to get my energy going. It was in my last video, if you're interested. Hmm. I mean, this is like where I do most of my calendaring, calendaring, I don't know. And so it's super fun because you can just go in here get really organized for all your assignments, your events, what you need to do in the next month, year, it's great. For my actual like to-do list, I actually have a daily to-do list notebook. So this is my all in a day little journal notebook thing that I got from Target and it just basically has individual days that you can circle at the top and then put the date and then you can say like what your goal is and then you say your to-do and then little notes and I like to do this usually just for every day individually because I like to get my days like I like to focus on what I need to do today only because if I think about the rest of the week I just get very stressed out okay I'm back so I just finished making my to-do list let me get it Okay. Okay. So my goals for today are to be proactive, get ahead, and stay positive. So here's my to-do. I don't know what order I'm going to do all this in. I know I'm going to work out first and then do my chores and then take a shower. But after that, I don't know what I'm doing. So first is work out and then chores. I need to work ahead on my summer class. I always like to be ahead like a week because I'm going on vacation soon and I don't want to be stuck like working on it. So I'm just going to try to get ahead now. Um, I'm going to sell clothes. I have some clothes I need to sell on Poshmark and on like the Facebook marketplace, but I just finished organizing my closet. I'm going to go and get into my type one outfit that I would, a type one person would wear. I'm gonna go get my type one drink that they say type ones like. 
Um, I need to paint my nails because these are chipping. Um, I'm gonna look in advance for jobs for next year. I'm gonna start applying to them for August. I'm gonna sign my apartment lease and before bed, I'm gonna do a face mask and take a warm bath. All right, let's get into the day. Hi hey everyone, I just finished my workout. Um, I always work out in the morning um, just because I can just kind of get on with my day and take a shower. And I don't know, I'm a type one, so we usually are very perfectionistic, as I said. And so if I don't work out, I do feel lazy and not productive. So I do work out every single day. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of walking around my basement right now. I always do a 5K on the treadmill. I run a 5K and always on the treadmill just because um, I don't believe in running on the road. I think it's really bad for your shins and your knees and like long term, it's like really bad for you, but that's my opinion. So if you like doing that, okay. And then I did my like 30 to 40 minutes of Pilates, um, which is basically like a full body workout. And then I lifted some weights and I stretched and then I did a ballet bar. And I went up on my point shoes and just kind of like did some rolling through them. I look disgusting. I look like I just ran in a pool and came out of the pool, but it's fine. So before I take a shower, I think I'm gonna do my chores. Um, obviously I'm a huge neat freak. Same with my mom. My mom is very like, I know our basement probably doesn't look clean right now, but our house upstairs and like the up upstairs is so clean. So I don't really mind doing chores. I personally like chores. I don't know, I like cleaning. My room's pretty clean, so I don't need to clean it. But I think I'm gonna start with cleaning my basement up because it's very messy. I'm sure you can tell in the background. And then I'm gonna vacuum. I'm probably gonna clean my bathroom upstairs because it's kind of gross. And yeah, then I'm gonna get on with my day. I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna do some more type one things. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I just finished cleaning my basement. Um, this is like our like sitting area. And it's really clean. I vacuumed the floors, dusted, cleaned it, you know. Also cleaned our bathroom. Super clean, really clean, yay. Cleaned over here, this is like our kitchen area. And I cleaned this as well, vacuumed it, just organized things, the popcorn machine. Um, okay, this is like our craft table, which my sister's been making all these canvases and she's been painting. So I don't want to like a mess with that. You know, this is her area. She's still working on it, so I'm not going to clean it up. This is just everything that we're about to sell on Poshmark, my mom and I. So obviously I'm not going to clean that up, but it will be cleaned once we sell everything and she's done with that. And then this is like our workout area. We have all of our workout stuff and then our little treadmill. Our computer area. I'm not showing you my storage room. No, 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 no. And then the bookshelf. And yeah, so that's my basement and I cleaned it up. Woo, now time to go upstairs. Okay, hey guys, so I just finished my shower. Um, yeah, I washed my hair and I put some product in it. I have my towel like around me because I hate the feeling of wet hair on my back. So yeah, I'm going to go print some of that stuff for my Poshmark sale and just put the addresses on the packages, ship those and apply to some jobs and work on my school. Okay, so I'm working on my online class, and yes, my hair's still wet. It's so thick, it takes literally forever to dry. I think I'm gonna blow dry it, just so that it can dry faster. But my summer class that I'm taking is art history. Um, we have to do it for ballet majors, which I'm not really sure why, but whatever. We have to take a lot of histories. We have to take ballet history and dance history, which I understand. But then we also have to do like art history, Euro history, which is fine, but kind of weird because why but I don't know I don't mind it it's pretty easy I actually like learning about all that stuff so yeah it's actually a really short class too because it's what day is it May 9th May 18th and the class started May 11th and then it's done June 23rd so it's super fast and yeah and it's online so 
yeah, it's super fun. And I'm going to do this for like probably the next half hour and just really work ahead. Do my discussion board and my review little questions and study for my test that's on. I'm going to, well, I can take it between like Wednesday and Sunday, but I'm going to take it probably like Thursday just to get it over with. So I'm going to study for that. Okay, maybe I'll do this for like an hour actually, not a half hour. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, hey guys, I'm in my basement again. <laughs> I just took a shower. Um, and I am trying to print my Poshmark. You know when you sell something on Poshmark and you have to print like the shipping label? I'm trying to print that out. Usually I can electronically send it um, from my phone to my printer down in my basement, but it's not working, so that's super fun. Well, I guess I'll change the ink and then I'll go and ship those out. And also, I did apply to some jobs. I, obviously since I've worked at Starbucks, I think it'd be fun to work there again. So I applied to Starbucks for where I'm living next year. Uh, I signed my lease for my apartment for next year. Well, not next year, in August, I move in. So I'm super happy about that. Um, I'm gonna go change into my outfit for a type one. Um, and paint my nails probably and then later I'm going to go get my type 1 Enneagram drink Okay, so here is the outfit that I am going with So this is a skirt from Lily Pulitzer, which I love because it's trendy But yes, it's also very classy and just really chic and kind of sophisticated looking especially with the I don't know just like a woman, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then I'm wearing this crop top from Brandy Melville. It's the Gina top in white, so it kind of matches this. I didn't want something too crazy on top because this is already pretty crazy. Next, I just have this jean jacket from American Eagle. I'm going to be using this purse from Kate Spade, and it's like a bright pinkish coral color that matches the skirt. I'm wearing my Jack Rogers, and then for my jewelry, I'm just going to be using pearls, bracelets, this Alex Anani bracelet and this Kate Spade bracelet and then I'm gonna be wearing my Kendra Scott necklace of course and then I'm gonna go with these shell earrings so when I was on Pinterest there was all this stuff that said that type ones always have their planner or agenda in their purse like they have to have it in their purse and I usually don't really bring my agenda with me I usually keep it on my desk but I guess I'll put it in my purse <laughs> because I'm a type one today. Well, I mean, I'm always a type one, apparently, but uh... Okay, so my agenda is a little too big for this purse, so it's the thought that counts, and I tried, but I also did paint my nails, like I said. I painted them pink, woo. Okay, hi guys, I'm in my outfit. Um, I like it, it's really cute and bright, like I said. It's very, woo, but then it's kind of calm on top, Okay, you can't even see me. Okay, okay, hi, I'm in my outfit. But I really like it, it's super cute. And now I'm gonna go get my drink. Okay. <laughs> okay guys, it's actually super hot where I live right now. Like the humidity is, I'm kind of dying in this jean jacket. So that was great, Emily. Great outfit suggestion to wear your jean jacket when it's like, feels like 80 out. Anyways, so I got my drink and I went to Dunkin' So, okay, type ones, I saw it said on Pinterest, like I looked all this stuff up. Obviously, it's not real. It's just like cute little things. They're like, most type ones like this, most type two, you know. And so one said that they like vanilla lattes, which is true because I do. I love vanilla iced coffee or vanilla lattes. Or another one said that we liked iced matcha, which I also like iced matcha. So... I had a free thing at Duncan, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go to Duncan. But the thing is, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get matcha. But I forgot that Duncan's matcha is not very good. Like, to me, it tastes really milky. And I get it with almond milk, but it's just so almond milky. I don't really like it. I like Starbucks's matcha better, but it's okay because I already have it. So here's a drink that I got. I just got a little small one today because I didn't really feel like getting a giant one. But it's pretty good. It is milky, but what can you do? Oh, also, I forgot to say that type ones like to listen to music that makes them want to like 
be productive and get things done. So, I mean, I'm in the car, but like earlier today when I was listening to music to get things done, okay, I'm not touching my hair. I have this bad habit where I touch my hair and you know what, when I touch my hair, it gets greasy. So I'm not gonna touch it. Anyways, so I like to listen to like alternative music, like indie rock, I don't know. That's kind of what I like. I really like the band Beach House. So I've been listening to them and it just kind of makes me calm and relaxed, but like I still get everything done, you know? Okay, there's people. Okay, bye. Okay, so I've been sipping on this matcha and it's not, it's not that bad, but... Mm. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna talk about... What should we talk about? Oh, Outer Banks. So, I loved Outer Banks. And if you know me, you know like I'm not like a big TV person or show person because like I always have to be doing something and for me to sit down for an hour to watch a show and then like keep watching the episodes it's like kind of hard for me so if it's like a thriller a mystery where you just like have to know what's happening it's suspenseful then I love it I love it I will binge watch it I will like that show so Outer Banks I liked because it was very actiony and you know like woo so obviously the setting is so gorgeous um i knew like everyone's like oh it's filmed in outer banks i'm like no it's not it's not the outer banks does not have those kind of marshes sorry it's actually filmed outside of charleston the setting reminds me of my childhood and just like growing up because i the house that we stay at i've been going to since i was one and um yeah i just like grew up there and it's I'm literally going there in three weeks, so I'm not gonna like explain this, but how our house is set up is you can see the ocean, obviously, but then if you go on the side of the balcony, you see the marsh, so you can watch the sunset on the marsh at night, and it's super, I don't know, the neighborhood's really quiet and um, safe, so all these houses have these giant gardens, and it's so, so pretty, and I just like to walk around there at night or in the morning and just like look at the marsh and the ocean it's beautiful everyone is always like oh are you team john b or team jj and i'm just like i'm a uh, i'm team topper okay let me get this straight here topper i don't like his character in the show like he's an ass he's like the most attractive in the show to me like by looks because he dresses really nice and he has blue eyes anyways yeah i really like the outer banks i definitely would recommend watching it if you haven't okay guys so i ended up last night taking a warm bath and doing a face mask i'll insert my flamingo face mask here i just didn't really vlog it because i forgot but um, anyways, I hope you guys go take your test on Trudy.com to see what Enneagram you are. It's super fun to compare with your friends and family and just learn more about yourself. So definitely recommend doing that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.